Hmm. Should I put some questions? What's your next song? My next song um, will hopefully be coming out really soon. Um, and I don't know. I have... Okay, so I've been working on... I guess my second single, like official single, um, it's been done for a minute now, but I'm not sure exactly which, there's been, there's, a, there's kind of like a few that are like being questioned to be out next. So we're going to have to see what I end up deciding, but it'll be really soon. So why did you dye your hair? I dyed my hair because I missed the blonde. I missed, it's also summer, so. Um, just going a little lighter for the summer. What's your fave cardio? Oops, it didn't, res it didn't share. My fave cardio is probably dancing. Yeah. Mm, Addison, do you love me? I do love you so much. What was your inspiration in making? to make your song obsessed. So my song obsessed, I'm sure everyone kind of has an idea of what obsessed means um, or like what it's about. Maybe more specific. Do you guys have any specific questions? I feel like I get on here a lot and answer like pretty generic questions. But if you guys have any questions that haven't been answered before, please let me know. What was it like being on keeping up with the Kardashians. It was really cool. I think it was very fun. And all of the family is so sweet. And they're great people. And yeah, I'm very, very blessed. And it was a very surreal moment. Honestly, I feel like so many things happen in my life now that I would have only dreamt of or I thought I would only dream of and they're happening. So it's really crazy. Um, yeah, I mean, if myself who I was in college would have known that I would have been on an episode. Um, I probably would have thrown up or peed my pants. So that's how I feel. Hmm. Let's see. What was your favorite scene in the music video? My favorite scene in my music video was... I want to say the dance scene, but I feel like that's a giveaway. So probably the... I really liked the angel scene. Like, that. well, the angel corset and then the bun on my head. That was probably one of my favorites. Yeah... <laughs> How many days did it take to shoot the video? So the video was actually a one day shoot, which is crazy because it was, we did one, two, three, I think we did four different sets kind of. We did the four-wheeler with the wig. We did the dance. We did the silhouette. And then we did the close-up of the face. And then the angel. So five, actually. Four-wheeler, four angel, silhouette, dance, close-up of the face. So five sets. It was a one-day shoot. A lot um, in one day, but it was really fun. Have you been working on any new projects? I have been working on new projects. I've been working on a lot of new music. Um, I've been in the studio very often. And for the past week or two weeks, I feel like I've been going through some things mentally and just figuring things out. And so I've kind of been like out of place, I feel like, um, mentally. And not really like, I feel like, honestly, I've been like, kind of third person in my life the past two weeks and just really um 
out of touch with myself, but now I feel a little bit better and I'm getting better and I'm figuring things out for myself and um, kind of learning a lot about myself the past few days, few weeks. Um, but yeah, I mean, it happens and hopefully I'll be in the studio next week writing some new songs and getting my feelings out and written about. Hmm. Let's see. Hey, Lucas. What is the meaning behind your song, Obsessed? So, there's really not that deep of a meaning behind it. Um, it's not too deep. I mean, it's just a fun, fun song that came out of a conversation that I had. And, oops. Fun song that came out of a conversation that I had, and I think that's kind of the significance of it, is it wasn't anything too crazy, but whenever we came up with the concept and idea, um, it just felt right, and, you know, my writers and I, Madison, Love, Leland, Tia, Ryan, who did the production for it, um, we were all in a room together, and I told this conversation out loud that I had literally the same day and we were working on something else that same day a different concept and then I ended up really loving the concept of obsessed so I begged them to keep it on there but keep the same track but like try the new concept we did and we did and I loved it so much and I feel like that's the best part about it is I really love obsessed and every time I hear it I get super excited when I hear it um, because it was a part of my life that was important to me and um, will always be important to me and was written into a song. So now I can reminisce on that memory with the music, which is so great. To be able to attach experiences to music. Hmm. Do you get nervous when you go on stage, to the stage? Yes, of course. Um, I can't speak for everyone, but I can speak for myself and say that I do get nervous. Nerves don't really go away for me. I feel like I'm, I don't think they ever will. I always get nervous. I think a big part of that is being vulnerable enough to be judged. And I think that a lot of people forget that that's a thing. Um, no matter what it is. I feel like, you know, when I had to talk at graduation or like talk really any public setting I think there's always nerves and maybe it's not always nerves but like butterflies um and the feeling I mean being vulnerable enough to be judged by people is a lot so I would say yeah I do get nervous and I probably always will because I will always put myself well not always but I I do put myself in a vulnerable position um, to be judged by people that don't know me and judged by people based off of, um, based off of what I put out. So, yeah. Hmm. How long did it take for you to write Obsessed? It took us a couple hours. I mean, we, we were in the studio for a few hours the night of Obsessed, and pretty sure we finished it that night, and I recorded it that night, if I remember correctly. Um, but yeah, I mean, probably like three, three hours, three, three or four hours. But that, I mean, that's along with lots of conversations and in between in lots of... Um, Production, listening, things like that. Hmm. 
what's your worst fear about writing songs? I don't necessarily have a fear. Okay, maybe. My biggest fear, I guess, is people... It's always... I mean... Maybe just being vulnerable. Um, I think writing music is, is a big space to be vulnerable in. And um, it gives people a look at your experiences or situations in your own words. So I get to kind of control the way that people view a story in a way. Because I get to write or be part of writing, you know, kind of my communication of it. So... I just drew a bunch of hearts on this page. But yeah, I mean, just being vulnerable, I guess. Alright guys, I'm gonna go, because my phone is literally about to die, um, as always. But I love you guys so much, each and every one of you. Thank you so much for supporting me. And I know I can't read every person's name that is on here, but um, it really is surreal to be in the position I am. And I'm very, very blessed and very grateful. And if you're watching this... Thank you, and I hope everything is well in your life, and you have an amazing night or day or wherever you are, and yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you for all your support, and I'll hopefully